today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you um, how to make this little um, beanie with has a crisscross puff stitch. So there's a lot of um, tutorials on the beanie with the puff stitch. But this one is a little bit different. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it here. But the beanie the puff stitches there actually crisscross. And then we finish it off with a little trim here. A little piece there. So I hope that you will enjoy this video and let's get started. Hello everyone. To begin our crisscross puff beanie, we're going to begin with the magic circle. If you don't want to do this, you could also um, chain four and then slip stitch into your first uh, chain to make your little circle. But here, I'm going to do the magic circle. I get the short end, uh, put it on my left hand, make a loop, and then I just put my yarn here to the back. Now here I'm going to stick in my hook while I'm still holding the yarn with my left hand and then I'm going to do a single crochet there. To begin it, when you first start doing it, you might want to hold this to keep it from moving around. Now I'm going to chain two. One, two. Now I'm going to do 12 double crochets in the middle. Remember our double crochet, we wrap our yarn around our hook, go into the middle, pull out our chain. There will be three strands of yarn on the hook. We're going to pull through two, which leaves two, and then we're going to pull through our next two. So that's our double crochet. One more time, wrap it in there, there will be three loops pull through two and then two more. This is getting kind of big so I'm going to close it a little bit. Just don't close it all the way. So I want you to do that till you have 12 double crochets in your middle. Okay, so now here I have uh, my 12 double crochets. Now you're going to get your little tail here and you're going to pull it tight and it's going to close that circle. Now I can go here into my second chain, one, two, and slip stitch. And that's going to be our first round or our first um, row here. Okay, this is what I call a round. To go to my next row, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then on this chain here, this is the next one there, I'm going to make two double crochets. So there's an increase in each chain. To do the double crochet, remember I wrap my yarn around my hook, go into my chain, pull it out, there'll be three loop the yarn on my thread there. I put two and then two. That's my double crochet. And then I'm going to make one more because I want two double crochets in there or an increase, what we call an increase in each chain. This is my second chain. And I'm going to do the same thing. So do that all the way around and you should have a total of 24 of these uh, chains plus the little post. I have done 24 on my double crochets, not including this little post. So when you get to 24, you're going to be working over this last post, not the chains that you end up, okay? This is the last double crochet. This is the post that you're using to go up, so these don't count. So when you get here, I want you to stop there. We're not going to make a chain here because it will give us too many. Now we count one, two, and you're going to pull through. I know that it looks like there's a little space there, but don't worry, that's going to be covered. It's not going to be noticeable. Now, this is one more row of uh, one more row of increases. So, here, sorry, here I'm going to chain one, two more. One, two, to go up, and then here I'm going to start doing two double crochets in each chain once again. This is going to be our last row of increases. So, we should have 48 of these double crochets. So, keep doing that. When you get to the end, uh, this is going to be, you're going to work on your last one here, and then we're going to slip stitch. So, go ahead and do that two in each one. Okay, here is the end of my third row. So, I'm going to slip stitch in there. And now, Okay, to get up to the fourth row, I crochet two chains, and yes, I 
This is a different one than I started with. Uh, right now I switched over to a size J hook. Uh, I didn't get a chance to finish uh, the video before I had to turn or give the beanie to the child I was making it for. So I thought, well, I'll just start a new one, but then I'll make it bigger. So here's our third chain. It's the same thing. I've done the 12 here, 24, then the 48. Then I slip stitch and went up two. Now to my fourth row. This is where it gets fun and exciting. This is a crisscross stitch. So we're going to be um, skipping our first chain and we're going to be working um, forwards and then backwards if that makes sense. First we work in this chain and then we come back and work on that one. And then, you know, we do the same thing here. So we're crisscrossing our stitches. To uh, begin, then here I'm going to skip this first chain and I'm going to work here in this check second chain. I'm going to do um, double crochet, wrap my yarn around my hook, go into that second chain, pull out my yarn. There will be three loops of yarn on there. I'm going to go through two, but I'm not going to close it off yet. I'm going to do that again, wrap my hook around, go in there. Now I'm going to have four on my chain. I'm going to pull through three and then through the last two. So see how the stitch is not actually laying flat. It's like crisscrossing this way. Um, that way across, so that's what it's supposed to do. Now I'm going to come back and work in the one I had skipped. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook and come back to that first chain. I'm going to pull out my yarn. There's going to be three loops of yarn on there. I'm going to pull through two, leave those two remaining unworked. Wrap my yarn again and go back into my space there. There's going to be four chains four loops on the chain, pull through two, and then pull through two more. I'm sorry, I meant to say four loops on the hook. And so now we have made our first crisscross stitch. You can, it's hard to tell here because of the lighting, but my first stitch went this way, then the second one went the, you know, like this and this. So now here we worked this stitch, so now we're going to skip the next stitch and work in the one after that. We're going to continue working these crisscross two um, stitches all the way around. So here, once again, let me show you how it's done. I'm going to skip this one and work on the second one. Wrap my hook, uh, yarn around my hook. Go into my second chain. Pull out my yarn. There's three loops of yarn on my hook. Pull through two and leave those two unworked. Wrap my hook again. Go into that space once again. Now there's four loops on the hook work through three, now there's two remaining, and now we work through the last two. Now, we're going to do the same stitch in the back one here, so we're going to work backwards. We're going to work in the one we skipped, wrap our yarn around our hook, go into that one we skipped, there's two, excuse me, three loops of yarn on your hook, work through two, leave two on that worked, and see here you can kind of see how it's working backwards here. Now put it Yarn in there again. There's four loops. Go through three and then do the last two. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around and you're going to start seeing that our loops are crisscrossing. I don't know if you could see it that good there, but one's going this way, then the, this way, then this way. Okay, so do that all the way around by skipping your next chain. Holding through two, leaving those two work unworked. Now there's four, pull to three, then to the last two. Repeat in your next stitch. So the first three, and then our second two. So there's our process. Go ahead and work around, and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I have now reached row 11. So, my first three rows were double crochets. One, two, three, and then here from row 4 to 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have been doing my crisscross puff stitches. And I slip stitch into the second chain here, where we've been attaching to go up. Remember I told you the row that had the two little stitches, that's going to go on the back part of your head, so that's on the center back, the center part of the back of the beanie. And now here, to go up to my next stitch, I'm going to crochet one chain. 
here then I'm just going to do one single crochet in each chain all the way around so we're just going to do one single crochet in every chain all the way around okay and we're going to do this for rows um, 12 I could need for row for this after row 11 here we're going to do for row 12 and row 13 so two rows of one single crochet so I want you to go ahead and do two rows of single crochet all the way around when you finish this one row of single crochet then you're going to slip stitch here into our first chain chain one and then continue doing one chain one single crochet in each chain across okay here I did my single crochet I'm at the end so here on my first chain that is, that is where you would slip stitch okay and then you chain one to go up and then once again do a second row of single crochet all the way around this would be our second row here okay here is what it looks like I hope you could see how your little puffs are crisscrossing there and then these are the last two single crochet um, stitches. Um, I hope I don't know if you can see how. Um, oh, that didn't help. <laughs> how um, those puffs are going in two different directions there, um, and so that is what it will um, look like. And if you want, you don't have to do the last two rows. I just think it looks kind of neat. You can do them just in a double crochet, or just do it this way. But we can see the back. That is just the way it is. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends. This is just kind of a nice, different, fun hat to make. Thank you, and please be sure to subscribe and click the like button.